Welcome to the course on Distributed Development and Outsourcing. In this video, I will tell you a little bit about the course and also why is it important. Now, I guess we all need to blame globalization for this course, because globalization of world economies has brought about enormous changes. It's opened borders for companies to collaborate, triggered internationalization and allowed companies to move their business around the world. So, software companies are no exception. We often hear about software development processes being distributed across multiple locations and also companies working with virtual and dispersed teams. But let's not forget that software development is not manufacturing. In fact, it's a very knowledge intensive work. So why would software companies also follow this trend? A simple answer runs. In most cases, it's all about the money. No matter what companies claim, salary differences, which are huge, motivate many, many companies to seek cost reduction by employing people from low-cost locations. There is another reason why to step into globalization. Some companies and countries are simply too small to employ people or educate enough software engineers and thus they seek resources in other locations. And finally, many companies do it because everybody does. If our competitors outsource to India and cut their cost we, and we don't, then we might lose at the end. But if everybody outsources to low-cost locations and get very little or no benefits, then we all suffer equally. Now, this course will be about outsourcing, which means that companies collaborate with third-party vendors and distributed development projects where development activities are distributed across multiple locations. Our intention is to share recommendations that will increase the likelihood of success and also discuss factors that might doom your projects to failure. These recommendations should be suitable and important both for managers in all levels and for team members. In the course material, you will come across the impact of different boundaries like legal, organizational, temporal, geographic and cultural. And although distributed and outsourcing projects are very, very different, the knowledge gained in the course should equip you to make an informed judgment about your own situation. Now, who are we to talk about such complex phenomena? My name is Daria Schmidt and I'm a professor at Blackinga Institute of Technology. And together with my colleague Nils Bredemu from Sintef in Norway, we spent more than a decade researching software development companies working with distributed and outsourcing projects. On the map, you can see the geography of our investigation. Besides being academics, we are exposed to research conducted by others that we would like to share in this course with you. Finally, I would like to cite David Parnas, who calls global software development the crisis of the decade. And although the problems of schedule slips, cancellations and poor quality are not new, in distributed projects they are exacerbated by the distance. Stay with us in this course.